We're back with some more Copium and there's a bunch of weapons that are going to be absolutely endgame meta in Season of the Wish and it's not the ones that you're thinking of. The newly refurbished and reworked seasonal artifact perks were recently announced in all their glory and these are absolutely a huge step above the lacklustre set of perks from the ones we saw in Season 22. Some of the new seasonal artifact perks are going to be bonkers, especially the solo ones, but the ones that are likely to have a bit more longevity in the endgame content are these ones right here. Dragon's Bite, Pillar of Ice and Hail the Storm are going to catapult a bunch of stasis weapons straight into endgame meta and this will include a bunch of new but also old seasonal weapons. One weapon in particular is going to have a huge place in the upcoming sandbox and it's one that you've probably never ever used, but it's not only going to benefit massively from the above mods, but more importantly from Origin Perk Specialized. 1. This is because of the overcharge modifier which is often forgotten about in high level activities. Overcharged weapons get a 25% weapon damage buff when the modifier is active and thanks to the origin perk specialization artifact mod a whole bunch of new and old weapons with the origin traits will benefit from it in season 23 meaning that older weapons with noble deeds, nanotech tracer rockets, unassociated hunger and head rush will always be overcharged. This means you don't have to activate the origin trait to become overcharge but by simply just having a weapon equipped with one of these origin traits you'll instantly do 25% more damage perfect for nightfalls, legend level activities like lost sectors or seasonal activities and master raids or dungeons. There's only one weapon that leans into literally all of the above artifact mods this season and will also benefit from the blast radius mod and that is the dimensional hyperchocoid. The big choid is back and in season 23 it's going to enter its final form. Gone are the days of it blowing yourself up thanks to a recent fix, plus it also had a few buffs to some of its perks recently, however more importantly it's craftable. This means that pattern which has sat dormant in your inventory is finally useful and you should absolutely be crafting this one right here. Envious Assassin got a huge buff to now overflow the magazine consistently and Chain Reaction is going to be an absolute madness in season 23 with these stasis themed artifact mods. As it's a heavy stasis compressed waveframe grenade launcher it actually does excellent damage contrary to popular belief and its place in the sandbox is absolutely aimed at destroying yellow bars, champions and mini bosses. The nanotech tracer rockets are also going to zip out and deal more damage to nearby targets and are probably one of the more underrated things about this stasis grenade launcher. So with it being stasis, breaking shields of enemies will freeze them thanks to the new dragons bite artifact mod and then generally due to the damage caused you'll automatically shatter them triggering both pillar of ice and hail the storm mods dealing even more damage, slowing nearby targets and creating stasis crystals. This gives you options to have a ton of build crafting synergy within your stasis subclass including the Whisper of Fissures, Shards, Hedrons and Durants just to name a few not to mention some excellent exotic armor buffs. Adding some stasis weapon surges obtained through armor charges from rapid final blows with the blast radius mod and the choid isn't looking so bad anymore. If you want to double down on the stasis waveframe grenade launcher fantasy go grab a new pacific epitaph from the ghost of the deep dungeon to pair alongside this awesome overcharged neomunal light fall grenade launcher and you'll be set for the end game even before it happens. Add in your favourite solar exotic primer in the energy slot and you've literally got a build capable of benefiting from nearly all the new seasonal artifact mods. Come to think of it, this end game ready solar build will be right up your street. Find out why by watching this video next.